Aquaman in the right hands is a very strong character with very few weaknesses. In this video I'm going to expose what he does have and a few strategies to get around him. Yo what's up guys, you're Jiggy here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about how to beat Aquaman. Like I mentioned, he's super strong, he's super safe, he has some of the best footsies in the game. So you kind of have to take advantage of every single little opportunity. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about a couple of his strings first, then I'm going to talk about uh, how to anti-air him. And lastly, I'm just going to go into about uh, some intricate details about his trait. So the first one are his strings, so if he does this right here, he can do the down one afterwards. And of course the down one leads into the... Oh, Trident Rush. Uh, which is safe, I believe it's minus 5, and a lot of Aquaman will just try and do that right into the down 2 afterwards. And they'll usually cancel the down 2 into that. So to kind of avoid this situation, I like to push block this string right here, and I like to push block it before the very last hit. So you kind of eat the first two, and you push block the last one. So kind of like this. That will negate his, uh... Oh, he's... <laughs> he's been rolling. That will negate his, uh, frame trap. And create a little bit of distance, and then characters that, uh, like Firestorm, for example, get some nice combo damage, stuff like that. The second one is this string here, and a lot of the top level Aquaman players don't really use it, but you might encounter it with some of your friends or just online players. Uh, this string is extremely plus on block, I believe it's plus seven. Yeah, plus seven. Um, but there is a gap in the in before the last hit, so you can either meter burn back three it, or you can just d back dash to get out of it. So just like that, just before the last hit, meter burn back three, and that will negate the entire string and any frame traps that he gets from it. Don't forget that in place of meter burn back three, you can also meter burn an interactable or just straight up back dash if you don't have any meter. Uh, there are still ways out of that as well. Uh, interactable is very good if you don't really uh, you want to get a little bit extra damage. Sometimes the combos on the interactables kind of scale a little bit better. So just an option to play around with. So a problem that us Firestorm mains have is that we don't have a reliable anti-air. So he can just kind of jump at us kind of all day. And a lot of characters kind of have that similar problem. Uh, so there's one guaranteed way to anti-air him, no matter what kind of jump attack he does. And that's to meter burn back three. Boom. There you go. It'll take a little bit of damage from his jump in, but it's kind of insignificant, especially considering how much you're going to be dishing out to him in the anti-air. It's like the only armored move in the game is meter burn back three, so definitely need to use it. It doesn't matter what jump attack he uses, it'll stuff all of them. This is also good against, say, uh, Black Adam's dive kick. If you if he's getting really predictable with the dive kick, you can meet him back three, and it'll punish the dive kick as well. And the final thing is his trait. So his trait uh, will allow him to get out of combos. Kind of becomes kind of slippery, I guess, because it's a fish, fish scales or whatever. Fucking fishy ass cunt. But anyways, it depends on what kind of launcher that you do to Aquaman. Um, for instance, this trait is really good against Batman because nothing launches on the first hit. So if you have a character that has like a like a launcher off the first hit or a special move or something like that, then uh, that kind of negates. So you see, since that's technically two hits, I do my uh, water shield and he doesn't bounce me. Now if I do it too late and I do it in between those hits, he can still launch me. So it's kind of important to know. Um, if you're unsure, the downside to his trait is that while he has his trait active, uh, the chip that he takes does the same amount of damage as a regular attack would. So that's kind of like a like a mind game for Aquaman. So is it better to take the combo or is it better to just try and take the chip? So then that's why you kind of have to pay attention as well to see kind of if it's uh, if you're better off to do like a chip string. Uh, because obviously, if you hit the if you hit this trade at the right time, it won't launch. So it's a little bit a little bit complicated, but I recommend taking it into the lab and just kind of playing as Aquaman and just trying different ways to see how to get out of your own character's combos and pressure, and see if this is a strategy that you can kind of adapt. 
And that's it, guys. There's some tips on how to beat Aquaman. Uh, like I mentioned, he's a super solid character in the right hands. It's going to be extremely difficult. As you can see, everyone has like a pocket Aquaman, it seems. So if you want to be more original and use your own character, or maybe if you are an Aquaman player and you're watching this, then maybe there's some hints that you can be aware of to help your game improve. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff. And we'll see all you guys in the next video. What you want? Accept your death.